Hi, I'm Zita from iZita Coaching and Consulting. How are you today? And thank you for joining me on my channel. I was inspired today to do um, pick a card, a daily draw, just to help you on your merry way today. So it doesn't matter when you view it, September 1st, December 1st, 2021, 23, 25. You've obviously been drawn to this video for a reason. So here's a message for you. Today, what I'll be doing is I'll be using the deck Oracle of the Seven Energies by Colette Bar Baron Reed. It's one of my decks that I really, really enjoy. Um, I did shuffle prior to recording. What I'll do is I'll shuffle again. And for those who watch my videos know that I like to use jumpers. So instead of flipping the cards, I wait for the card or cards to jump themselves. I always think it's fun how they do that. Okay. So for today, we've got three cards actually. The first card is uh, exposed. And revealed. I hope you can see that. Exposed and revealed. The second one is uh, Roots of Abundance. And the third one, The Rose's Kiss. These are three beautiful cards. Um, this, that's a message that's popping up at me. You see, on this first card, there's this big eye. So I see it in two ways. One as in the I, as in me, me, myself, and I, and actual the I. So I think you, as I, have seen something with your eye that you're not too happy about. Maybe there's something you've done that you are a little ashamed of, trying to cover it up, or maybe something you've done has come to light. I mean, it can be something small as saying a little fib, um, a friend asking you to do something and uh, you're saying you're busy when you're really not and then you realize you should have been there to help your friend uh, or you're asked to do something at work and you really don't want to do it and you make up some excuse and then in light of day it comes out that you were caught in your little lie so you said oh I'm gonna go shopping so I can't help you and then your friend goes to the store and doesn't see you so they assume and they walk by your house and your car is there so they think well she never left and not that you should feel guilty about it, but there was obviously a reason why you were held back to um, do something. So I think what you're being asked to do is to look inside and why are you feeling ashamed now? Because you've done something that seemed to have felt right at the moment, but now no longer seems to resonate with you. And I think there's something there to help you in your growth. And uh, perhaps you realize uh, next time someone asks you to do something or you're faced in a situation that your, your decision will be different, or perhaps just stand up for yourself and say, look, it's really not a good time for me to drive you to the store or you tell your boss, I'm sorry, it's really not what I'm comfortable doing at work. It's not in my job description or it doesn't fall comfortably or I really don't have time. Perhaps someone else would be better to do it. So. I think there's a lesson here for you to do that because in doing that, you're going to set, create some roots of abundance. So what I'm feeling is that you're going to become more worthy of yourself. You're going to feel better about yourself because you stood your ground. Um, you took responsibility for what you were saying and doing and you cannot only do anything but grow from this experience. And this is beautifully illustrated with a tree. So when you plant your roots, so when you stand your ground, literally standing your feet on the ground as a tree is in the ground, you become stronger. So if a wind were to come by or a boss was to come by or a friend to come by or family member coming by, trying to convince you to do something you, you don't really wanna do or it doesn't resonate with you, you're gonna be stronger and You'll just be firmer in your decision to say, no, I'm sorry, it's not what I want to do. The time's not right. It's not what I'm comfortable doing. And this will reap abundance because it's going to free your soul and your energy. You're going to unblock any blockages you may have had. You're not going to be ashamed because you haven't lied. You stood your ground. You said your no firmly. 
And your clients or your friends or your, your boss, they're going to respect you more for that because you're going to realize, okay, I called her, it wasn't convenient, and uh, she says another time. So she may be someone I can trust because she was very honest with who why she couldn't help me. So stand your ground, and this will bring you a lot of abundance also in the sense that when you're going to be at work, you may realize, oh, this is not what I want to do. And you realize, hmm, there might be other opportunities for me. And so by being open with the universe, the universe will bring you more. So when you're more positive, you feel good about yourself, the universe will send you more things to reward you, to help amplify that energy. So the better you feel about yourself, the more vibrations are going to rise and the more you're going to get from the universe. And the final card sums that up beautifully with um, the rose's kiss. So you see, you're going to blossom. And there's a butterfly here, which clearly signifies an important change. So because you've grounded yourself, first of all, you've taken um, the time to think about yourself, the I. You could see things better now with more clarity. You can ground yourself to be stronger. If there's any wind that's trying to blow you around or people are trying to push you around, and there's a lot of sparkles here. So there's a lot of energy coming up to help you grow and blossom into this beautiful rose. And isn't that surprising? You see all these little sparkles here? They repeat here on this card as well. So speak your truth, protect your truth, be your authentic self. You're being asked to um, nurture yourself, ground yourself so you can expand your growth. It's going to be a lovely day for you uh, or a lovely week, depending how frequently you, you consult these kind of videos. There's an important change. From this, you're going to have beautiful change, a beautiful day, and you are this beautiful rose that's just going to blossom and bloom and have a lovely day. So I hope this resonated with you. If you like it, please like and subscribe to my channel to help it grow. And if you're interested in personal reading, feel free to contact me. All my coordinates are also in the description below. And I will also write uh, include the description of the card deck for you to make it easier. And um, I hope to see you soon. Thank you. With grace and gratitude. Have a lovely day.